Hello friends, this video on three dimensional geometry part five is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part one to part four. Now let's understand the equation of the line in the space. Till now what we have done, we have this line, we have this line vector. Please note, we didn't know, till now we don't know how to find equation of the line in space. We have this line vector. So if I have some points, x1, y1, z1 here, x2, y2, z2. So I can say that the uh, how to represent this vector. So this vector will be x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, z2 minus This is just a vector we know how to find. Also if we had some point, let's suppose x1, y1, z1. So we were able to find the vector for this uh, point, assuming the other point is 0, 0, 0, right, the origin. So we till now, we have represented a point in the vector and we represented the vector of a line but we never wrote equation of a line please note till now we have not written the equation of the line now we will write the equation of the line a line is determined if if it passes through a given point and has some direction or it passes through two points. For example, I have this line and I say that uh, this is some vector which we know how to write, write this vector. A line that is pa parallel to this vector and passes through, let's suppose, uh, 5, 6, 7 and this is parallel to this vector, right? So this is my line. This is my line and this is a distance. Or I say that I have a line that passes through two points. Point 0.1 and point 0.2. Correct. So with, with this also I can derive the equation of the line. So let's take the first scenario where line passes through a given point and parallel to a given vector. So let's assume that I have this vector. So let's suppose this is the point through which my line passes and this point is uh, let's suppose a vector right because a point is a vector actually right so this is the point which uh, my line passes through and also it says that my line passes is parallel to this vector l vector so i have two things given one is there is a point which it passes through and it's parallel to this l vector so my line will be something like this or let me draw this red dot. So this is my line actually. Correct. This is my line that is parallel to my L vector. Well, my line passed through A vector and parallel to some some l vector right this is just a vector actually please note this is not a line equation of line this is the equation of a this is a vector l vector here i'm deriving the equation of the line to do this what i can do is i can take any point in this line and let this be point r so this guy is my r vector so if this my if this line is l any line perpend parallel to this line will be some lambda l. Please note. If my this line is L, any line that is parallel to this will be lambda L that I know. You move line from here to here, you just to multiply some lambda. So for some lambda, this will be true. Right? If two lines are parallel, if this guy is L, this guy will be some lambda L. This we know. So I have a vector here which is my point, I have lambda L vector here, that is the slope of the line. I have to find the equation of the line, so equation of the line here will be R is equal to, if you see, A plus lambda L. Why? Because this vector plus this vector is equal to R. And this is my equation of line. Please note, this is my equation Please note this guy is not an equation of line. This is just a slope. This is just a line, a vector. This is just a vector which has some slope. 
correct so you can say this way that no i have some line in cartesian form line passes through a and b and it is with the slope of l you can see that so please don't confuse with these two this guy is my actual equation of line here right which has point passing through this and which is parallel to this that is this is the thing so any point on this line is my whole line right because this is my line so you can take any point so you can take any point and find the equation of that that becomes equation of line correct so i have my once again i had one uh, point a and i had some line l and i told that i want to create a line passing through this point and parallel to this line l so i just created one line this uh, parallel to this line l and passing through point a and that angle uh, that that line vector was lambda l right if this l vector is the line lambda l is the line vector just a vector this is not the equation of line please note this lambda l vector is not equation of line is not equation of line this guy lambda l vector is just a vector vector that represents a line see a vector can represent the point for example a vector a vector can represent the line that is l vector but this is not equation of a line equation of line is this guy r vector that is a plus lambda l. correct because lambda l is just a vector that represents a line a vector is just a vector that represents a point and i am interested in some r vector because r vector you take any r vector you take r this way you take r this way if you say r1 this way is r2 you take r3 this way you take any point in this equation right all these points satisfy this a plus lambda l right you take any point you can take this point you can take this point you can take this point all these point satisfies this equation a plus lambda l so i say that this is the equation of the line correct for example i'll show you so if this point is let's suppose 1 2 3 and this guy is 4 5 6 so when i say 4 minus 1 that is 3 and 5 minus uh, 2 that is again 3j and 6 minus 3 also 3k this guy is nothing but a vector that represents this line but this is not the equation of line why because you take any point on this line this point this point this point they don't satisfy this right if you take any any point this r r and r all these points they don't satisfy this so if i have one generic equation with r that satisfies this then i call that that guy as equation of the line in, the, in this case r is equal to a plus lambda l is the equation of the line because you take any r in that is in this line that is satisfy this equation so with this let's write let's try to write this same line in the thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again